Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. We have one college visit on the books for December, and it happens tomorrow when the reps from the Universal Technical Institute drop in for their visit. This is the premier school for a career in the automotive, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industry. You should sign up to attend. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, the Mill Tour is coming up on December 11th from 10 to 11.30 a.m., and permission slips were due yesterday. If you did not not get in your documents to attend this tour, check in with the Counseling Center to see what you can do to get on that bus. Keep in mind that most college visits happen during advisory or at lunch, so be sure you know when your college rep is here and remember to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. And now we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Corinne McAfee. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. In basketball news, our men's team is traveling to Pueblo South tomorrow for a game at 7 p.m. Good luck to the men's team. We'll have scores for you on Friday. Our Lady Glads are not due to be back in Bowers Gym until next week on Tuesday, December 11th against Boughton Fort Carson at 7 p.m. We'll have scores and highlights for you next Wednesday. If you haven't been to a game this year, why not get yourself to one and cheer on our teams like Rex's Rowdies do? It could be a great way to jump into the finals week. The forensics team has a meeting tomorrow in room 210 at lunch. And the next meet on the calendar for these public speakers is on December 15th when they will be right here at home. Our Lady Grizzlyators kicked off their season on Monday against the Manitou Springs Mustangs. In spite of their 124-56 loss, the girls' swim team is off to a strong start and managed to set multiple personal records. Catch these swimming women on Saturday as they plan to add a couple of wins when they travel to Pueblo Centennial for a multi-team meet. They would appreciate your support. In wrestling news, the team is traveling to Falcon High High school tomorrow night for a dual meet at 6 p.m. Go watch our glads take those birds to the mats. Tune in on Friday when Damon's dose of health will be about sleep habits. It should be good. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Corinne McAfee. Have a great hump day. Now back to the news desk with Spencer and Jeremiah. Thanks for that update, Corinne. Glads, if you have a sweet tooth, and we know you do, satisfy it with some baked goods at the Senior Council Bake Sale today during advisory in the Lower Commons. Seniors are also holding a drawing for a cake from the bake sale, and the winner will be announced later today. And speaking of seniors, Class of 2019 t-shirts are now available for $15, and quantities are limited this year. These could make great stocking stuffers for you or your parents. Shirts will be on sale by the cafeteria during lunch for the next two weeks. Freshman Council will be hosting a hat day this Friday, December 7th. As always, you can buy your wristband for a dollar, or you can donate a canned good or other non-perishable items for the 180 club food baskets. You can get wristbands starting on Thursday and Friday morning before school or see Mrs. Hines in the math department. Glads, we have two very important fundraisers happening right now that are critical to our community. The first is the WSD3 toy drive and the second is the 180 club food baskets. We keep telling you about them because these two events directly benefit our students and their families. Not an outsider, so if you're able to donate, please do so. Here's the information for the 180 club Christmas food basket drive. The club is trying to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 families. Many of our students depend on school lunches to eat, so this is often a hard time for some of our students and their families. You might consider donating foods you would see on a typical holiday dinner table, like the fixings for green bean casserole, potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and boxed desserts. You can also bring in soup, including ramen noodles, and snack foods like peanut butter and jelly, crackers and granola bars, or pretzels. You can also bring in canned tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Keep in mind that these donations help our students and their families. If you have donations, bring them to Mr. Sickmiller in room 5 so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. Oh, and they will also accept good old cash money. We thank you so much for your help with this very important event. The WSD3 toy drive kicked off on Tuesday. Check out the tree in the front lobby. That's where you want to bring in your new unwrapped toys for children of all ages. Of course, teenagers would love to receive gift cards to places like Target, Walmart, or Amazon. If you are bringing in the gift cards, give them to Mrs. Price or Mr. Shube in the main office. All gifts will be distributed on December 20th. And now here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu. Happy 
Happy Wednesday, everybody. Mr. Bergen must have called in sick today. I don't know. Anyway, homemade pizza today. Can you see? I've been I've been working hard getting it ready for you. Please come down and, and have some pizza. And on Thursdays, a Philly cheesesteak. See you then. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, please pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. Remember, the NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for an appointment and to pick up your pass. NHS students can help you get your grades up before the end of the semester. They are smart and magical. Listen up for these important yearbook notes. Yearbook prices are $60 until January 7th. Order your book now by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com. Seniors, your mom will be so disappointed not to mention angry if your senior information didn't show up in the yearbook. So take some time to check in with Mrs. Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school to ensure the staff received your senior quote, photo, and baby ad. And finally, the yearbook staff really would like to feature your whip in their book. Think about how cool it will be to show your own kids someday what you drove to and from school uphill both ways in the snow. Contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your car pick in the yearbook. It's that time of the year, and yes, the band is hosting Breakfast with Santa, featuring the jolly old elf himself and his missus this Saturday, December 8th from 8 to noon in the small gym. Bring your family and enjoy pancake breakfast, music, crafts, and of course, pictures with Santa. Come get in the holiday spirit. The cost for this fun-filled morning is $4 for adults, $2 for children, with a max of $20 per family with immediate members. In case you haven't realized it yet, final exams are right around the corner. Okay, now that we have your attention, be sure to check out the final schedule in your classrooms. Final start on Wednesday, December 19th, and go until Friday, December 21st. One more message before we go. Mrs. Owen and Mr. Elhofer are having a forensics meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 210. Don't be late because we heard that the pen is mightier than the sword. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News.